We are Cactus Wrestling, and today we're going to talk about how to take down short wrestlers. We did a video about a few months ago about how to take down tall wrestlers, and as requested by popular demand, we are going to be discussing one of the shortest wrestlers in wrestling, Nathan Tomasello, and uh, going over a few matches in which he gets taken down. First one on that list is against Uzbekistan wrestler um, Abdulev. And uh, we're going to play the clip and then we're going to break it down. Yeah. Tomasello comes in at five foot nothing. Can't get much shorter than that. <laughs> All right. All right. There that it is. That was a nice fireman's. <laughs> fireman's carry. Let's see how he sets it up. So we'll. All right, they're just sense. hand fighting, oh. hand fighting. Mm -hmm. So right here, you can see he's grabbing the right hand. Yeah, he doesn't need – Tomasello doesn't even have an underhook. He, I mean, uh, abdulave has got the inside control, and he's holding, like, the shoulder armpit with that right hand, and he's shooting the lefty. Yep, see how he's this left foot forward because he's going in for that lefty shot. So see how he traps the arm right here. He's yeah, got he it nice. His head is on the other side. Leg is tucked under. Yeah. And then it's in deep and tight, and Tomasello can't even do anything. And see his positioning right here. He's not trying to come up to his feet. He's got that right arm clinched, and he's just trying to yeah. pop Tomasello right up yeah, and he's getting yeah, tight he's, with this left arm yeah yeah he's trying to throw him over him yeah yeah and there, i mean there's no defense to that yeah I, this is one of those types of moves where if you get hit with it i mean that's pretty much it yeah it's it's can be nice and clean and so one more time he traps it right this is a good angle I mean, it Don't looks like Tomasello sprawled. It's like, oh, he maybe he's not going to go down and then forget about it because he's still got that arm nice and tight. Well, that's that's the thing. Even if the defender sprawls out like Tomasello is doing, since he has both hands, so he has left hand on the leg, right hand on the arm, he's good right here. He's in good position. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter because he's just about to get dumped right there onto his back. Key thing is height. He tucks his head, lifts his arm, and just plops him over. Forget about it. Textbook. Nathan Tomasello against Dayton Fix. Uh, Fix is about to mix it up and hit a very nice left, uh, left-sided left high crotch. This is uh, executed wonderfully, I would say. Uh, it's a very nice, nice shot. Um so he's able to get right to the takedown once he takes this shot here. Boom, right on in. He keeps his head up, his chest up, drives right through. It's just executed very well. It's like, uh, you know, you, you drill you, this move a thousand times to get this kind of uh, level of proficiency when you're in a competition. Because, like, he's clearing the arm. I mean, yeah, he's still got his right arm kind of. I was going to say this, this, he kind of got lucky right here. You don't yeah, want to leave Sello. that right arm up too much because he could get caught right there. Yeah. If Tomasello had uh, hooked uh, his arm a little lower, he would have been pancaking Fix to his back. But Fix clears that arm and then he gets in two hands on it. His head's up, his chest's up. He's on one foot, on one knee. He starts driving in. I mean, they circle for a, a brief moment yeah he's just this positioning i mean when we break down how to do a high crotch head up back straight driving with this power leg he's doing yeah. all the basic stuff against a top top tier wrestler and, just goes yeah. to show that the basics work against the best competition yeah national champ four-time all-american he, and he's taking him down. And, I mean, he, he's taking him down relatively easily with this. Like, uh, Tomasello isn't even able to put up much of a fight. Like, he starts to sprawl. He's trying to hang on to the head. But, like, he, it, he doesn't really have much of an answer here for it. And what I like that Fix does is he uses this head to drive Tomasello back down towards the mat. He's yeah. using that head to his advantage instead of just kind of, I don't know, trying to use his arms and his 
his legs. He's using every inch of his body. That's really good positioning. Yeah, no, that uh, high crotch is a solid option here against the guy. If you can clear the arm and get in and maintain really good position, nice high up like that. I mean, he's right there on the hip. There's no space in between fix his head and, and Tomasello's hip. Um, he, he, as they rotated, he, it's not like he started to hunch over at all. He stayed nice and tall until Tomasello starts going down towards the mat. Now he's elevating that leg and driving through over top, ready to work the turn. But really well done. Nice high crotch. Seth Gross, Tom, Nathan Tomasello, uh, two national champs meeting here. Um, and, uh, Seth Gross is showing, you know, he's a, a bit of a longer guy. He's showing how, you know, you could take down a bit of a shorter guy, a, a bit of a stockier guy. Um, they're, they're just kind of working. I mean, Seth's only got the one point lead, but then boom, he shoots in a double. He stays kind of low, drops down on those ankles and he's able to get the two. Granted, it is kind of near the out of bounds, but Tomasello's kind of caught on his heels. Um, he tries to sprawl and really ineffective sprawl here um because he, he kind of like is already turning to cut away growth gross is kind of using his length to his advantage i don't think tomasello is expecting um gross to have uh, his hands on both both of his knees right now or both of his legs so and look where his trying- head is too his head is like right in his gut there's yeah. no real sprawling for tomasello in this position yeah and then he keeps driving Gross. through. He keeps that's that's nice uh, out of bounds work right there. You know he's uh, on his tiptoes, <laughs> but yeah, drives right through him, stays on his tiptoes. He's pulling in that ankle with his right hand. Uh, left hand's uh, scooped over, kind of like the right left knee. No, right knee. Um, and you know Tomasello's just boom, giving up that takedown. I mean, he's trying to hold on to like an uh, uh, armpit as if that's going to make a difference. But um, boom, he shoots in. He's got the double. It's not even like that great of a double. I mean, he's sort of scooped. Uh, the left hand is scooping the calf, yeah, kind of, the and scooping the right hand is the, the scooping of the hand is kind of almost like a, a quasi ankle pick because he's he's able to pull that leg closer to him. Yeah, and he's got the right hand on the knee. He's got that head position right there, kind of in his gut. You think Tomasello is going to be able to sprawl, but maybe because of the way he's got it scooped um, is leading to why he now ends up getting like sat. And now he's kind of getting tripped up. It's like his feet were just lassoed up. And then Gross kind of posts onto his toes and says, thank you. I'll take two points. It's like the, in Star Wars, those uh, giant four-legged walkers. And then the, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, jets yeah, yeah. The, the them up. lasso them and then take them out between them. That's that's kind of how you have to approach a, a, a short wrestler, a short stocky wrestler. Get them at yeah. their, their weak points. And, uh, yeah, yeah. They're not able to scramble and get funky uh, as, as e- easily as uh, some of those uh, taller wrestlers. So uh, going down towards the ankles, not a bad idea, especially if you're taller, like Seth Gross here. One last time. As he just yeah, he goes in. Right, snaps him, shoots him this it. double. And, I mean, just knees. keeps driving through. Like, I mean, with a double, I think if you don't keep on driving – pressure into the guy uh regardless of the direction you're you're gonna end up in trouble uh, so gross now is uh he's working that underhook he's wor- not under, uh, the russian two-on-one thomas L's fighting like hell to not have this two-on-one and gross is keeping it keeping it keeping it until nice. it boom it's that little foot sweep he kicks out his leg and is able to cover for two um, I mean, yeah, this is a freestyle match, and some people might argue that, oh, yeah, you wouldn't hit that in, in folk style. But realistically, if Tomasello had an offensive way of scoring off of this two-on-one, I think he would have hit it. Gross is yeah. standing fully vertical, but because he's got that two-on-one, Tomasello can't do anything if he, if, as long as he's got that arm. Even if he shot, he still doesn't have his right arm. So he's he's got to he's that's why he's fighting desperately to tr- he's posting trying to get his arm back and then Gross is just like let me kick out your leg he goes down and he just covers over top like this would work in a folk style matchup um, this this isn't just like oh something that would only work in a freestyle or Greco match like this is something that would work universally like 
you could take a guy down from this position. And look at Gross's hip. Like this is this is how they teach the Russian two on one. His hip is completely perpendicular to Tomasello right here. He is committing full on. There's nothing that Tomasello can do from an offensive standpoint. A lot of guys, when they go for this two on one, they're so uncomfortable being in this sideways position right here. But you really have to commit to it in order for it to work. Yeah, Gross is committed, and then boom, he kicks that leg and just sends him over to his side, and he's already covering over top as Thomas is just like, oh, crap, what just happened? And like Mike's, Mike was saying, uh, there's there's such little reaction time right there for Tomasello to actually do anything. Uh, he, he's scrambling to get his arm back, and he doesn't even see the, you know, the leg kick coming. Leg kick up high, and he's just – Circling behind, arms underneath Tomasello's circling yeah, you, behind. You don't even need to do more. Like it's boom, got it. Like it, this is nice. I mean, you got to be comfortable with a Russian and being in the proper position with the Russian two on one, um, in order to effectively hit that. And I know a lot of guys are not that comfortable using a Russian, um, but this is an effective way to take down a, a shorter guy. Like. Tomasello is a big, strong, like he's big and muscular, and Gross is able to control him with this Russian. Like you, you saw it earlier in the match, he was trying to get it. Now he's fully got this Russian, and then he's able to use it to get those points. He's able to use it to get that takedown. The only thing you got to watch out if you're going to try this move is that if Tomasello gets that right arm back, you got to make sure that you're getting quickly back into position. <laughs> yeah. If, if you lose the arm, basically you're getting taken down. Like you're in a horrible position if you're not holding the Russian. Like if that arm slips free, now you're just – you're probably going to get like doubled. I mean, that, there's a myriad of things that could happen to you. But look how look how gross grips it right here. He's he is fully standing vertical. He's hard on the tricep right here. And that's yeah, where you have elbow, to be. Yeah. That's where you have to live. Other hand, it's kind of draping across the wrist. I mean, it also shows off the height difference there uh, between Gross and, and and Tomasello. Like when he's holding, when he's got it all jacked up. Like he's he's like a full f head and a half taller than yep. than Tomasello. And uh, you, you'd think that like Tomasello, shorter, stockier guy, his arms aren't as long. It's going to be harder to get a Russian on, and yet still, Gross doesn't care. He wants that position. He gets that position, and then he kicks to get that take. It's a nice – that's a real nice kick. Like and One last thing on the kick. I mean, you really have to lift that leg up nice and high. Get some oh, height man. with that kick. It's not going to work if you just kind of – watch how he, he does it. Perpendicular. Okay, he's lifting. He's lifting Tomasello's leg with that. It's kind of like a donkey kick. Really, yeah, mule kick. Send yeah. it flying up, up as high as you can. Yeah, and then boom, you cover and you got it. Next one up, we have Spencer Lee doing a classic single leg takedown against Tomasello right here. Here, uh, let's watch it one time, full. Yeah, similarly to uh, Dayton Fix's high crotch, I mean, this is kind of like a textbook, how you want to finish a sweep single when a, a guy whizzers down on you. Um, it, it's, yeah, picture perfect uh, by the book, how you want to go by doing this. He shoots in the sweep single, he gets his hands on it, and Nato does a, a good job here with, he's defending this. He goes whizzers down, he's trying to jam him up, but, um, you know, Lee is able to drive and circle. He gets behind him. He starts to elevate the, the leg as he circles and stays behind him. And then they once he's able to elevate thing. that leg is when he slips his arm free and he's able to go in and attack the other leg and score that takedown. Um, yeah, you see the height that he's getting right here. He's lifting it. He's shelving this leg up yep. right on his leg as a table. This is exactly what you want to go for right now. <laughs> and being a short wrestler, Tomasello, he can't reach for Spencer Lee's ankle right here for some sort of funk type move. So all you have to worry about is lifting that leg, getting elevation, getting height. And then once you have that height, then you can just 
rush right through. Yeah, grabbing that ankle is more of a, a longer guy's game. I mean, Tomasello could try to reach for it, but it's unlikely that that would be a successful course of action. Um, but, yeah, whenever you hear your coach screaming, shelf it, this is kind of exactly what they're looking for. Like, you shoot in, you're driving, you're circling behind, um, you're popping your head up, you're elevating it, then you're elevating the foot up onto your own leg, on your own hip, and then you can slip your arm free if a guy has a power wizard, just like Tomasello does, and then you can circle behind and cover for the two. The other thing that Spencer Lee does really nice is his head positioning. Right now, when Tomasello has this hard wizard right here, your first reaction is for your head to go straight to the mat. And as you see, Spencer Lee's head is right in the mat right here. I see a lot of high school guys who get in this similar position where the big, strong, short wrestler, short, stocky wrestler, wizard down hard, and they just get stuck right here. But Spencer Lee, he circles his feet, and watch how he gets his head up. The, the, the wizard is bringing his head down, but he keeps lifting it upwards so he can get that yeah, height. As he's circling, he's able to elevate his head. And once he does that, it, it opens up this position where he's able to shelf it and then get his arm free and get secure the other leg for the takedown. He does a nice job circling. You have to keep on circling in this wizard position so that you can get that height to shelf it. Yeah, you, you, you got to stay behind the guy. If you don't stay behind the guy... That's where you can jam you up, get a stalemate, or try to work a score or fully on, defend what you got going. Um, but, you know, you hit this sweep single, boom, you got it on the leg. Now, boom, he's jamming you up. But, oh, nope, I'm going to drive in. I keep that pressure. I circle, I circle, I circle. I elevate. I start to elevate. Boom, I got it up on my hip. All right, let me get my arm free. Let me get my arm free. Got my arm free. Okay, cool. Let me cover the other other leg for a takedown. Um it's so not even it's when not, it's yeah. not anything complex, guys. It's just it's yeah. <laughs> it's just keeping basic position. Heads head is up, back is straight, circling, moving your feet, and getting to your scoring position. Yeah, even if a guy hits you with some sort of defense like NATO does with the wizard, you there is a way around it. There's a way to properly like something that you probably have drilled, something that you probably practice, just like Lee clearly has like, okay, guy wizards, this is how you finish anyway. You know, you shelf it and then you, you get your arm free and then you cover for the two. Thanks for watching. We are Cactus Wrestling and we'll see you next time on our next video.